Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Welcome to chapter 3, Differentiation of Exponential Logarithmic and Trigonometric Function, Subtopic 3.3, Differentiation of Trigonometric Function, Part 1. So, let's look at our learning outcome. So, to differentiate the basic trigonometric function involving function sine x, cosine x, and tangent x. So here is the table of derivative of trigonometric function. So let's look at the basic one. So the first one is differentiate sine x, you will get cosine x. The second one, if you differentiate cosine x, you will get negative sine x. So please be careful here. There is negative sign. And then when you differentiate tangent x, you will get secant square x. So let's move on to power rule. So basically, power rule is one of the method that you can use to find derivative of trigonometric function other than by using chain rule. Alright, so I will show more on our example later on how to use power rule and also chain rule. So let's go to the first one. So this is the formula if they want to find derivative of sine power of n fx. So first thing first, you need to bring the power n to the front so we get here and at the front and then minus the power with 1 okay minus 1 and then multiply with uh, multiply with the differentiation of sine fx and also multiply lastly multiply with f prime or derivative of fx so you will get the answer here this is the general form it depends on the type of function fx you will you will need to solve in the question right so this is a formula for cosine and also tangent x. So it depends on the uh, derivative here. So if they want to find derivative of cos, you will get negative sine. If, you, if they want you to find derivative of tangent, you will get secant square. Okay. So let's move on to our first example, which is example 7 in your notes. Differentiate the following with respect to x. Alright. So... Let me change my pen first. Okay, so y equals to 3 cos x. So you differentiate cos x, you get negative sine x. But what happened to 3? You just copy back 3, put negative sine x. Alright, so this is our answer. Very simple. This is the basic one. So the second one, we are given an addition. Alright, if it involving addition or subtraction, you need to differentiate individually. So differentiate the first part. 5 sine x, we will get 5 cos x. Okay, plus differentiate tangent, you will get secant square. So, 10 secant square x. That is our answer. Very simple. Move on. So, example 7c. So, we are given this kind of function. Y equals to sine x over 1 minus cos x. So, as you can see here, it is in the form of u over v okay you've seen this type of question before in chapter 2 whereby if they want you to differentiate a function in the form of u over v you can use quotient rule to solve it all right so remember quotient rule in chapter 2 okay please recap back so to use quotient rule first you need to find u u prime v v prime right i already write down for you so our u is sine x du dx is cos x our v is 1 minus cos x our dv dx is sine x right so substitute the value here we find into the formula so excuse for the missing bracket i don't know why i transported this powerpoint to my tablet and all of the bracket are missing but i will write it down for you so the first bracket is for v right so this is v and then the second bracket is u prime cos x and then minus with u this is u sine x times with v prime so our v prime is sine x right and then below is v square so y minus cos x square and then what happened next we need to expand the bracket and we get the answer here all right so in this also dx eh? so sorry for the 
sorry for the mistake there okay and then put the bracket here at the bottom 1 minus x bracket square okay so you expand uh, the numerator you will get cos x minus cos square x minus sine square x and then next what happened we need to simplify more and you can see here is cos square and sine square still remember on your first semester you learn all right uh, the trigonometric identities sine square x plus cos square x equals to one so basically you can use it here you can apply it here so what we should do okay so we can factorize so here is negative right so if i factorize minus one i will get this kind of answer right cos x minus bracket cos square x plus sine square x over 1 minus cos x bracket square so what happened to this bracket it will turn into 1 all right so cos x minus 1 using trigonometric identity all right so here's the missing bracket okay next what should we do as you can see in the in the denominator you have 1 minus cos power of 2 up here you have cos x minus 1 can we switch the position around yes the answer is yes how okay just by factor out the negative okay so it will automatically change the form of the equation on the numerator so it become negative 1 minus cos x so can we cancel out the equation now yes we can because it's already in the same form so you will get negative 1 over 1 minus cos x so that is the answer the most simplified one so let's look at next example example a differentiate the following with respect to x so the first example is y equals to cos x cubed okay excuse for the missing bracket so the bracket is here all right so we have cos inside it we have a function x cubed so we cannot use the basic form the basic formula where you differentiate cos you get sine negative sine we cannot use that so what we can do is all right we can use chain rule okay how to use chain rule so first let our u as x cube okay and then you find du dx or u prime you get 3x cube and then we let y as cos u then we find dy du we get negative sine u and then by using chain rule as we learned in chapter 2 the formula is dy over dx equals to dy du times du dx so we just substitute the value that we already defined here so dy du is negative sine u all right multiply with du dx is 3x square okay the only things that you need to do is if you notice i'm substituting u not x so here with respect to x so we need to substitute x back into the equation so u here is x cubed so we rearrange a bit so it become negative 3x squared sine bracket x cubed all right so is it clear okay so very easy so this is the uh, the answer so the next one we are given y equals to tangent cube 1 over 2 x all right so we have so this is how it goes so first we let y equals to tangent 3 tangent cube u all right and then our dy du okay same as a our dy du we differentiate y respect to u we will get 3 tangent square u times secant square u you can use this you can solve this by using formula or by using power rule right or chain rule so you will get this answer okay and then let u as 1 over 2x so our u du dx will be 1 over 2 okay clear so when we already define our y our u so y prime our u prime so we can substitute into the chain rule so i already substituted for you sorry for the missing bracket but as you can see here this is you this is you we need to substitute back the value x so here what we 
left. Alright, so let me write it down for you. The answer 3 over 2 times tangent square 1 over 2x. Alright, times secant square 1 over 2x. Alright, so you can pause the video and try to solve this equation using the power rule. Do you get the, the same answer? Alright, so you should get the same answer. This is this is our final answer. Alright, so the last one. Example 8c, y equals to 2 sine square x cubed. Okay, excuse the missing bracket again. Alright, so first thing first, in this uh, example, I would like to show you how to solve using power rule because I already show you how to use chain rule. So now it's time to use power rule. So because it is sine, so the formula power rule for sine is here as stated here. Okay, so let's look at our first step. So here, sorry for the missing bracket again. Let me put the bracket first. Alright, so we have here bracket. Okay. So, the first one, okay, as you can see here, I factor out 2 here because it's a constant. So, I put a big bracket over here. So, I will just use the power rule on the inside, right? So, first thing first, look at the power. This is 2. So, I bring 2 to the front. I get 2 here, okay, according to the formula. And then, this one become 1 because 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 will get 1. And then, I let the function x cube times with the, the derivative of sine x cubed and multiply with this is f prime okay our f prime is x cubed so we differentiate x cubed we get 3x square okay so the next step is to simplify so you just need to understand the power rule and the next step is basically just simplify the equation so right here i multiply 2 inside the bracket so 2 times 2 is 4 and then this is sine x cube. Differentiate sine, you got you will get cos x cube, and then multiply with f prime three x square. So you can still simplify. Okay, this four and this three x cube, we can still simplify become twelve x cube. So let me put the bracket here. Okay, so this is the final answer. Alright, you can pause the video and try to solve this question using the chain rule and you should get the same as answer as mine. Alright, so here is exercise 3.3. You can pause the video if you want to screenshot the question. Thank you for listening and paying attention to this video. Alright, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.